Welcome to ICU Telecom World 2019 here in Budapest in Hungary. We're very pleased to be joined in the studio by Nisa Furtai Pastel, who is Acting Secretary General of the Commonwealth Telecommunications Organization. Nisa, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Max. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about connectivity and what makes connectivity meaningful. Connectivity is the key for digital transformation. With the advent of the digital economy, 5G, connectivity is the key. And I know in the Commonwealth, there's a lot of countries that still employ 2G in the rural areas. And as you know, 2G facilitates calling between each other. They can't call overseas. And that's how 3G came in, to enable people to call outside of their own country. But then what was, uh, they found is that the speed was not right for the internet access. So 4G comes in, and now it's 5G. And all these uh, emerging technologies, it's about connectivity. Otherwise, government is unable to move forward digital transformation so that they are able to provide the much needed public services that they need to do. And with this digital transformation, it's important because it allows governments to provide these uh, public services in a timely manner, much faster way of doing it, so that the whole uh, um, country benefits. And how is the CTO contributing to accelerate connectivity? What CTO does, Commonwealth Telecommunication Organization, what we do is we promote um, the uh, digital infrastructure, but before that, we promote policies, regulation, legislation, and we do this by dialogue with uh, each country, each member state of the Commonwealth, and uh, more recently, we recognize that um, every regional and international organization is doing its, a bit of the digital um, um, economy development. So in July 24th, we held a meeting of the heads of regional and uh, international organization, organizations, including the ITU, and it was awesome we came together and then we realized everyone is doing something. And the key is collaboration. That was the main reason why the CTO called this meeting. It was only a one day meeting, but it was very, very timely. And how can the ICT industry mitigate climate change? Climate change adaptation uh, is one of my passion. And the industry can help because when disaster strikes or when um, disasters to do with forestry, you know, with the burning and things like that, the key thing that comes uh, that's needed is communication. And this is where the industry comes in to help governments. Um, there's assistance if it's uh, uh, disasters like um, hurricanes or cyclones. Of course, some can be in category six that demolishes all the uh, telecommunication and mobile towers. And this is where the satellite comes in because um, a good approach is to have both satellites and terrestrial um, uh, communication, telecommunication. Let's talk a little bit about gender. What measures and initiatives do you think will bring more women into technology? And, uh, and should this come from governments or from industry, do you think? It's not only government that does this. It's a combination of both governments, the industry, and all the players. And uh, right now, there is a lack of skills concerning all the development issues of the digital um, economy, especially in cybersecurity. In London itself, in the UK, they recognize that um, there is a need for skilled people to manage and to monitor and to work with in cybersecurity uh, certs and cert, C-E-R-T, you know, the uh, critical emergency uh, um, response teams. Yeah. And uh, the way to bring women in is 
through capacity building. That's the key. Promote women to come forward and, uh, and do the courses. Cisco itself offered through the ITU um, technical training for women. So in universities, especially in developing countries, there is a women-only class that's provided by Cisco. And in my own country, um, we still have a women-only class um, that is provided by Cisco. And ITU was excellent in facilitating this. Great. Finally, what's the value of attending events such as ITU Telecom World, do you think? Oh my gosh, so much value. We meet with our own members who are here. So throughout this week, we have had full days because we're doing bilateral mem uh, meetings. It's a perfect timing to talk with our members, to tell us what their priority needs are, because as you know, with emerging technology, things change so quickly. With a blink of, uh, of an eye, you know, it's changed. So this is the value, not only the, uh, our sector's uh, full member country um, membership, but also our sector members. I see quite a lot of them here. And it's an opportunity for us too, because there are other industry players who come to us, they needed to know more about CTO. Before you know it, they want to take part. They want to help CTO promote the digital uh, economy forward and uh, to become a member, a sector member of the CTO. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us and, and filling us in on, uh, on where you're up to at the moment. And uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you again very soon. Yeah, absolutely. WRC it is. WRC it is. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you very much.